guys, I'm Serena from the Coopsphere team. Today I'm going to show you the alerting system in Coopsphere version 3.1. With a highly functional alerting system in place, you can quickly identify and resolve potential issues in advance before they affect your businesses. In version 3.1, we not only optimize and upgrade functions such as monitoring, logging, and alerting, but also add more new features, and we are here to explore. You need to first log into the Coopsphere console, and in the top left corner, go to Cluster Management. And then under the Monitoring and Alerting tab, choose Alerting Policies. You can see that there are building policies and custom policies. Here I'm going to click Create to add a customized alerting policy. I'm going to name it Demo, for example, and set the duration time for one minute. You can also set alias, severity, and description for your alerting policy. Then click next to continue. You can see you can use either rule templates or a custom rule for your alerting policy. Here I'm going to choose rule templates and select a note for monitoring. If you want to set a policy from the workload level, please make sure you have workloads run on your cluster. Here I'm going to set the CPU utilization more than 5% for example, and click Next. You can add notification summary and message for your alert. After it is finished, just click Create. The alerting policy will be inactive when just created, and if conditions in the rule expression are met, it will reach pending first, and then turn into firing if conditions kept to be met in the given time range. You can click the name of the alert to view its detail page. You can also add it or delete the alerting policy here. And then click platform and select platform settings where you can configure notification channels. Coopsphere provides five notification channels. For example, when configuring mail notification, you could turn on this toggle switch and provide with the following server and recipient information. After it is finished, just click Update. And for DinTalk, you can either configure conversation settings or DinTalk chat box or both. And for Wecom, you should provide with the API IDs, secrets, and user IDs. And for Slack, you should provide a Slack token and enter Slack channels for the alerting notification. You can add up to 20 channels here. After the configuration is finished, the recipient will receive the predefined notification message. In this notification email the recipient received, you can see the labels such as the alert name, alert type, cluster, node, and so on. And under the annotations, you can see the predefined message here. In Slack, we can also see the notification received in the target channels. Thanks for watching. Please have fun exploring more exciting features of Coopsphere 3.1.